Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this video, I'm going to open up another monthly subscription from the Dollar Bead Box. In case you're interested in this box, I will leave a link for it down there below in the description bar. Alright? And also, you'll see a link for the Dollar Bead Bag, because there's two subscriptions here. So I'm going to open this. And I've actually had this box for a few days now, but I didn't have a chance to film it. Okay. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh my gosh, I love those colors. Okay, you guys gotta see this. It's hard to see it in the bag. There is this strand. No, is there two? I can't tell. I gotta see. I've never seen this before. Come on, come on. Okay. This one. Okay, I, I like several of them. But this one right here, this bead has opaque white. It looks like Montana blue. And then it has the the copper or a uh, rose gold plating on it. Look at that bead. I've never seen this before. I've seen, you know, the two tone, like the white with the transparent color, and I love it. It's gorgeous, but I've never seen a metallic plating on it. It is so beautiful. Okay, and look at this one. I also love that one. I wonder what it's going to be called. It almost looks like there's moray finish on it. They're beautiful. And this one too. I thought this one at first was that one right here. But it was hard to see through the bag. But I don't think it's the same. But they sort of look similar at a glance. So let's go to the list. And I'm going to read over the names. Separate by size. These are three. This is three. These are four in the bag. Okay. So, the three millimeter strands. The first one is Crystal Tangerine Lumi, which is this. And I think I got this last time, and if not last time, the time before, in a four millimeter. And it is pretty. It's a very pretty orange. It's not loud. It's soft. It's really pretty. I like it a lot. And then, Vitral Vintage Metallic. That's going to be this. And I got to tell you, um, this is in the Magic color line. And first I found magic blue, and it's not just blue, there's purple in it, pink, it is so pretty. So I got the magic blue color, right, and then I ended up finding magic wine, which was another one that I was really in love with. And then I think there's a magic orange, but I don't know if it's called orange, but I have them, those colors in round duos, and I have the magic blue in cut buttons, and in super duos. Anyways, what I'm trying to get to is I believe this is the orange looking uh, magic color. I don't know if it's called magic orange though, but if you go like, um, I know Potomac, that's where I found a lot of the magic colors at. They even had seed beads. You, you would see this if you looked up the, the colors. Isn't that amazing? It is so magical. It really is. I love that they called it magical. It is gorgeous. Amazing strand. Oh, and look at how perfect those two are together. That's awesome. And then, Crystal Pink Lumi. So that's going to be this. Very pretty. I love the pink. Okay, and then this is Crystal Key Lime Lumi. Man, I want Key Lime Pie now. And again, I've said before that Neon Yellow is the hardest color for me to work with. But 
this one here. I like that it's kind of muted. It makes it easier. It's very pretty. And now we're going on the 4mm. First one is Sapphire, which is probably going to be this. Because it's just a sapphire color. And it's a very pretty color. It looks great with blue jeans. Those are beautiful beads. And then the next thing is Crystal Half Copper. Or Burnt Orange Moray. Oh. I'm trying to think that what that would look like. Crystal Half Copper. Oh, so that would be a clear bead with a copper. See the copper that's on here? It would have that. But I got the Vitral Vintage. No, wait. I'm on the wrong line. Where'd it go? Um, down here. Burnt Orange Moray. So see? You either got the Crystal Half Copper or the Burnt Orange Moray. So, again, it would be a crystal clear bead with that copper look on it. And it's uh, half coated. So the copper would only be on one side. You would see the other side of the bead would be clear. And I got this one, which I love. Burnt Orange Moray. I'm happy that I got this one instead. Because I think I have the other one in my stash. I think I have a lot of it, actually. And this is gorgeous. Man, this bead is so pretty. This is definitely a bead that I would buy. But I wouldn't just buy one strand. I would probably buy like 300 of them. It's so unique. I never see colors like this. This is a very a rare bead right there. And then the next one is going to be this. Blue Marble Half Copper. Yes, yeah, so see this one even says Half Copper. Referring back to the other strand I was talking about. The half Crystal Half Copper. It is so pretty. My camera is not wanting to focus, but that bead strand is awesome. And then this one's very interesting. Alabaster White Electric Purple. So it says Alabaster White because the bead is actually white and then they have a coating on it and the coating is called Electric Purple. If you look in the hole of the bead, the hole, can, the hole of the bead could tell you a lot. By looking in this hole I can see that the bead is naturally white and then they have the purple coating on there. It is very pr pretty. Um, in my camera, it looks like it's dark blue. So I don't know what that's going to look like when it's on the computer. But it is definitely not blue. It is a dark purple. It's gorgeous. Okay, moving on to the box. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, look at the purple. Oh my gosh. Look at the purple. <gasps> it just keeps getting better. Oh my gosh. <gasps> what are those cabs? I think those are glass. I've made that in resin. Okay. Um, we have to go to the, the list. It starts out with the strands always. That is gorgeous. This is one of my color obsessions. Love that color. That's a hard color to find. Those are clear petal beads. I can't even tell what this color is. I wonder if that's going to be Alexanderite. Okay. Another strand. Another strand. Those are mind blowing. Those are gorgeous. Wow, this is one amazing box. Picasso. And those cabs. And there's three of those cabs. Okay. To the list, the first thing is 3mm Czech Glass Pearl Lavender Rainbow Luster. Yes, 40 beads. This is beautiful. Look at this color. It's really, really pretty. It's got that opalescent look to it. 
it is just gorgeous okay and then the next one is four millimeter check glass cube this one jet 35 pieces have I used this bead I'm trying to remember Did I use this in weaving recently? Maybe I'm thinking about the Miyuki Q beads that I made that I used in the uh, Bellflower earrings. I'll put a picture of that tutorial up if you didn't see it. Sometimes when I do tutorials, it seems, or any video really, it doesn't seem like YouTube sends out notifications to everybody that is subscribed to me, and I've noticed it happening to other people, and that video seemed like one of them that just was not sent out like it was supposed to be. But, um, yeah, that was a really awesome earring design, very unusual, and, uh, it making it, how it was made was very fun and, uh, unusual of how I usually stitch things. So this bead is a check cube, the color is jet, and there are 35 beads, and I really love the check glass cubes because they are perfectly made. See the holes? They're not sharp. Like even when I was working with the Miyuki cubes, some of them were uneven, but these here, every single one of them are made exactly the same. So they're great for weaving. Okay, next thing is 8mm check glass struck, velvet opal or light topaz. Oh my gosh, I got my favorite one again. So just like with the dollar bead bag, the orange, the burnt orange strand, I would have rather had that than the copper crystal because I already have a whole bunch of copper crystal on my sash. But this one here, you either get the velvet opal or the light topaz. And I got velvet opal. Now, I think light topaz would be the honey color, right? But it would be lighter. It's a very beautiful color, but um, I would rather have this one because this is more of my color obsession. It's more rare. Isn't that pretty? It is so pretty. And not every bead is the same. If you look, some are very opaque, like this one, and then some have transparentness, right? And then some have lines. Is it a line in the middle? So they're all just a little different. I love that. Almost like a gemstone. This is an awesome strand. And to get this for a dollar is so crazy. The dollar bead box. If you are a member or if you're subscribed to them. I think you have to be subscribed to them for like three months. At least. To be a member. So you can go back and reorder some of these things for a dollar each. That is crazy to get this for a dollar. Because the other places that I get some of my check beads, this would not be a dollar. There's no way this would be a dollar. You couldn't even find this on clearance for a dollar, that color. Okay, next thing is 4mm check glass truck. White Alexanderite. Oh, that's this. Oh, that's why it looks different. Because it's light Alexanderite. So it's lighter than the regular one, and I didn't even know this existed. I just thought there was Xanderite. I didn't know that there was light and dark colors of this bead. It's so pretty. Um, it's looking very blue here. And I have daylight bulbs, and they really do make Alexanderite look purple, but this is not looking purple to me at all it looks blue which could mean that it's fake because I have had beads and other subscription boxes say that they were Alexanderite and I didn't change color but usually every time I get something from the dollar bead box it is really Alexanderite but maybe it just has something to do with it being called light so I wonder what this looks like in other lighting in my house it might be different. I don't know. I would have to see. But anyways. Uh, moving on. Next thing. 5 by 15 millimeter. Large hole Celtic black. Ancient black. Eight pieces. So I guess this is a new bead. This is the second time I'm getting this bead. This one's really gorgeous. It is black Picasso. 
Jet Picasso. Jet means black. And it's pretty. I actually have a broken bead in this strand though. See right there? It's broken. So if I really want to use that bead, I would try to use it in something where it's pointing down. For example, this might be a really awesome bead to use on my hair barrettes. So I have one in my drawer here. So I like to keep one out for when I'm working on projects to see if I can make another hair barrette. It's actually been a long time since I made one. But, uh, it's a little bit longer than my hair barrette. But simple hair barrettes that you can make is basically what I did with the gemstone chips. Do you guys remember that? I did, I've done a few tutorials already on hair barrettes. Um, I'll put a picture up now of the gemstone chip hair barrettes. That tutorial actually went really bad for me. I had a hard time staying in frame and I think my camera tripod was messed up and it just kept falling. But anyways, um, it's pretty simple. You just basically take a piece of wire and you wrap it around the side here. You want the wire to come out the side, not the center, but you come out the side. And you want to, whenever you work on these, you want to take them apart. So you're going to want to take this off. You want to take the spring out. So you can wire wrap them. But yeah, you could just about wire wrap the hair breadths with any beads you want, really. Um, I love flat beads to do it with. Square beads. Coin. The gem, the gem, I just put it in wrong. The gemstone chips were really awesome. But um, I wonder if these rectangles would work. They are kind of long though. See, they might not work. You can see how much they hang over. You could just have wire on each side hanging over. But anyways, um, you could do like a bead like this, and then the next row, do six of seed beads, and then another one of these. You could play around with uh, bead sizes and amounts to get different looks. Okay, I keep getting sidetracked. Um, what's next? Six millimeter check glass lintel. Jet rainbow iris. 50 beads. This is awesome. I don't have this bead in this color. It's really pretty. I kind of wish it wasn't a bag though because I feel like you can't see how amazing it is. But it is that rainbow iris. So it has all the colors in it. Purple, blue, green, teal, bronze. It is just gorgeous. There you go. Maybe you can see it better from that angle. So that's awesome. And these here... 7 by 8 millimeter check glass rose petal. This color is called Crystal AB and there's 25 beads. So I'm really excited to get this because right now I am doing a bracelet tutorial or it could be a necklace. It's going to be a big tutorial. I'm probably going to have to do three videos on it. Maybe more, but I'm aiming for three videos. It's kind of like the what was it? Art Nouveau bracelet tutorial that I did. I'll put a picture up now of what I'm talking about. So I'm kind of making another design like that, but it's not going to be as hard. It's going to be more beginner friendly. And I'm making five different pieces, and you can weave them all up separately, okay, and then stitch them together into a bracelet or a necklace. And if you don't want to make a necklace or bracelet, or you just like maybe a few of the components that I'm making, you can make those into rings, earrings, or a pendant. So there's so many options with the design that I'm working on right now, and um, I have some more work to do to get ready to film it, and um, I'm very excited to show you guys what I am talking about. But anyways, I am making flowers. I'm making two different flowers, and both of the flowers have these beads in them right here. And it, it it's going to be awesome. I can't wait to show you. So, yeah. Okay, again, every time I show something, I feel like I have to go on a story. Um, additional items. 18 millimeter check glass origami flower. Color is Lavender AB. 
two pieces. That's going to be this. Is this matte? I've been getting this bead. I think this is the third time. And I'm in love with it. It reminds me of the Star of Ishtar bead, which is another bead that I love. And I've been getting it in the Dollar Bead Box. And there's also another one that I want, but I haven't got yet. But it's basically a mandala on a coin bead, which that's what this is. They're calling it origami flower. But it's pretty much a mandala. Or mandala. It's like different ways to say that word. This is very pretty. This is matte, by the way. I first thought it was a satin. A shiny satin, but it's not. Where did it go? Right here. Check glass origami lavender AB. It doesn't say that it's matte, but it is. Here you can see from the side. You know what? I think it's a matte silky finish bead. It is absolutely gorgeous. And again, this bead is 18 millimeters, and I've told you guys before that I have bezeled this same exact bead shape and size. I did a mermaid watch bracelet with it you can use this bead to make that bracelet if you want to I'll put a picture up now this bead would be epic bezeled in that bracelet and I've also bezeled the um and it, by the way the, the other bead that I used was the Nautilus bead it's the same size 18 millimeters but um whatever I made with that bead you can uh, make it with this bead I also did a Nautilus ring and I made uh, beaded beads so I'll put a picture up for that and yeah I, I would love to see this and that mermaid bracelet. And look at how gorgeous the colors are together. Really pretty color combos. Okay, and the next thing is 8x8mm check glass flat star matte rainbow iris AB six pieces. I think that's that two hole bead. That's this one. Right here. Check glass. Flat Star Matte Rainbow Iris AB. Um, they're saying matte, but I think this is acid washed or etched glass. Pretty much the same thing. Two different names. And yes, it has two holes. This bead is so thin though. I wonder if it's like easy to break. Do you see how thin? Look at how thin this bead is. Especially looking through the holes. There's really thin glass on the sides. It is very gorgeous. This color is amazing. Man, I want to see this in cut buttons. I wonder if they've done it yet. Those are beautiful. Okay. Next is 4mm check glass saucer. Amethyst, 24 pieces. Saucer. That's black. I think I'm missing something. Four millimeter check glass saucer. Colors amethyst, 24 pieces. We have flowers, a leaf pendant. Those look like 10 millimeter. No, it is not here. Now this is a rondelle, but it's not four millimeter. So I think I'm missing. I think I'm missing something and you know before when this has happened I I filmed the video and I guess they watched it and they just sent me the missing bead it was really awesome and whoever else didn't get it they sent missing beads too also um the next thing is 20 millimeter pewter flower antique silver plate one piece this I think I have this in my stash or maybe Mine might be smaller. It looks similar though. It's very pretty. I love flowers. I'm obsessed with flowers. 
And I love this pendant and I love how dimensional it is. Look from the side. Do you see? Even the back is gorgeous. It's very pretty. Okay. I'm in frame. My camera has been falling. Next thing is 6 by 12 millimeter check glass tulip matte crystal with purple wash. That's this. What? It says it's matte crystal. How? Matte crystal with purple wash. But matte crystal would be a clear bead. I don't understand that. It's definitely not clear. It's opaque. But it looks like an opaque purple. They are beautiful. And holy cow. Yes, it matches. Look at that. Same. It's like the same exact shade of purple. So I love those. Alright, next is four no nope, right here. Five by fourteen millimeter vintage flower cabochon. Opaque white. Three pieces. So they are vintage. So it actually says floral, said flower. So I have made a cabochon that looks like this with resin. My resin cabochon mold is oval though. And um I thought it was going to be awesome when I made them that it, so I could bezel them, but um, I ended up never bezeling them because I thought they were strange. I think this would look really awesome in a prong setting though. Do you see, I don't know if you could see how amazing the flowers on it, the detail, the leaf, it just looks like a white blur. You know what I probably will do? Put some paint on it. Again, I said it before. Take acrylic paint, mix it with a little bit of water. Get a paintbrush and just, you know, go like that. It's what's called stipping, where you go like that, where you're straight up and down, up and down, get in all the crevices, and then you rub it with a paper towel, and you get the um, what's on the surface off, and then what's ever left in the details makes the details stand out beautifully and it's just amazing so um it's kind of interesting because see how the back is like that and they're all like that right yeah those are very cool i didn't know they made this in glass It's pretty. Okay, I'm putting those back in. And then... Fifteen millimeter check glass button bead California collection two pieces. So I've gotten these before in this box. It was a very long time ago when I first started getting the dollar bead box. And I made pendants with them in the same color. I'll put a picture up now. Actually, this is not the same color. The ones I had, I think, were gold on one side and then copper on the other. Now, when I made those pendants, I had to make them and take them apart a lot, I remember. And I was touching these beads so much that it was making the coating come off. And underneath of this metallic finish is a clear bead. So what I ended up doing to stop it from the the plating coming off is I put clear nail polish over it to seal it and it worked so I think 
before I go to use these, that I should do that again. Before I touch them a whole bunch, put clear nail polish or some kind of clear sealer over top of the bead to prevent the, the metallic finish from coming off. And you're probably going to want to do it too, especially if you use this bead as a cabochon and that pendant that I just showed. They're really cool. I like this side a lot. Okay, and then the next thing 6x12 millimeter faceted dyed jade rondelle ruby two pieces. That's going to be this. These are pretty. I love this color. Kind of makes me want cranberry sauce. Okay, and then I want to open these. Five by six millimeter check glass facet bead jet black. 10. What? Fast to bead. That must be this. These are really cool. It's almost like the UFO check bead or a, a cathedral bead. I actually recently used something like this, but the one I used had a Picasso on the ends. It's really cute. Okay. And then, 15 millimeter check glass triangle pendant. Jet travertine. One piece. I think I've got this before. But I don't remember what color I got it in. It's really neat. The hole is right here. Can you see? Right there. And I think because this shape is so neat that I would actually like to bezel this bead and pretend that hole is not even there. But have like beads going over this way, going over that way, to make another triangle shape. You know what I'm saying? Go this way, that way, that way, with C beads and maybe check fire polish beads. Making a bead a triangle on top. Make it be a, a connector or something. Anyways, I've done something like that before in a bracelet. I had these big rectangle beads. They were gorgeous. And I don't know why, but I just felt the need to bead on them and like bezel them so I'll put a picture of the bracelet that I'm talking about now hopefully I can find it so yeah you saw in that picture how I did that so something like that I would like to try with that bead all right so we have two things left 10 millimeter Check fire polish jet travertine six pieces. These are ten. I kind of thought they were gonna be bigger. These bigger sizes, ten millimeter and up, are so pricey. And check beads. These are gorgeous. They look like eggs. My mom has gotten to uh, quails and they have such pretty eggs it's like a bluish green egg with brown specks and spots on it some have like really big spots some have tiny spots it depends on the bird but those are gorgeous and they make me think of her quail eggs it kind of looks like snake skin Okay, I'm going to put those back, and that pendant over there looks absolutely amazing. 
right here. 22 by 24 millimeter check glass peacock pendant. The color, oh, color and size varies one piece. So everybody's gonna get a different color or size. Um, one time I got a bead. It was one of the biggest check beads I've ever got. It was bigger than a quarter. It was round. It's like this big. And it's like this color right here. And it has stars on it. Just like this. Um, it's like pinkish. It's like a pink color with like a dark pink like this. Anyways, it is beautiful. And it has a star pattern that's on this bead. So the hole is right there. So this is actually a pendant. And yeah, I think this is really awesome. I love this. Oh, this would be perfect for 4th of July. Yes, it would. Oh my gosh, this would be so awesome for 4th of July. I would have to use it for something like that. Because because it is like etched glass, the stars, the, it makes them look like they're white. I think that's cool. Alright, so here's everything that I'm getting in the dollar bead box. And I am missing a pack. I kind of wonder if it went... No, it's not over there. I just don't think I got it. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes you're just missing a strand or a pack. And, um... It must be hard packing all of these boxes. I can only imagine trying to make sure that every box has every color strand and bead and they're also doing different colors like it said that this here would be right here color and size varies and there was another one at the top where you would get two colors so anyways I'm not worried about it so this is it the colors are so gorgeous I really love this strand this drug right here I want to go back and order this one I want to get that one again. And I love Alexanderite. I, I do like the original more than the light one though. So I would like to get more of those. And I love this origami bead. And I really want to find the Czech Mandala coin beads. They're hard to find. I only seen them being sold at one place. And when I went to go get them, they were sold out. So um, I guess it's just highly collectible so this is it i hope that you guys enjoyed this box opening remember i will put a link for the dollar b box and bag down there below in the description and keep an eye out for my upcoming tutorials i am so please like this video leave me a comment subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and make sure you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever i upload new videos and follow me on my social media sites i'm on facebook instagram pinterest and twitter thanks for watching